Spanish emergency services say at least 51 people have been killed after torrential rain sparked flash flooding in the country's south and east. Severe weather warnings are in place for 10 of Spain's 17 regions. The worst affected area is Valencia. Emergency services are working to reach areas where the flooding has hit hardest. The regional governor says many people are stranded in inaccessible locations. Isolated in fast-flowing floodwaters, a stranded truck driver is saved by emergency services. Across southern Spain, muddy torrents, floods and flash rainfall cause havoc. Several people are reported missing. Emergency services scramble to rescue those in danger, while others assess the damage from a deluge that fell in a flash. I talked with my neighbor, and he told me that until midday, nothing happened. But suddenly, in such a short time, around 300 or 400 liters of rain came down. Just one hour ago, the water reached here. Water reached my ankles, but at some point it was up to here. You were not able to walk here. You couldn't even see the bridge, so the water has been going down. Similar autumn storms have lashed Spain in recent years. The rainfall has helped the country recover from severe drought, which in turn increased the risk of flash floods like these. Scientists say these extreme weather episodes are likely linked to climate change. Straight to the Spanish capital, where we join our correspondent, Nicole Rees. Welcome, Nicole. Uh, tell us more about the scale of the damage. Well, Phil, I think that the scale of the damage is yet to be seen in these next few days or even weeks. What we can say, though, is that the emotions here uh, went from shock to mourning very quickly. Yesterday night, we already saw the pictures of the devastating torrential rains and the flooding. And uh, there were talks about and reports about missing people. But now we are looking at at least 51 people that are reported dead and um, some voices here already saying that uh, this number will most likely go up. The devastation is big. Streets have been washed away. Bridges are uh, have broken down. Infrastructures are destroyed uh, very massively in some places. And actually, the authorities are still calling on people not to go out, not to drive anywhere in uh, the province of Valencia, for example. Um, the weather alert has turned from red to orange now, so a notch down, but it's still very difficult to uh, get through to people on there. You really caution everyone in the affected areas to just stay put and not do any movement towards any potentially risk, risky area. And Parliament held a, a minute silence. What else is the government doing? Well, Parliament is also considering to suspend its uh, activities today. As one uh, Parliament member today put it, uh, this is not the day for political uh, debates. Uh, so we are still waiting for this confirmation. In the meantime, Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez has also taken um, uh, taken to the stage and has uh, talked to people. He is sending a message of condolences to those who are affected, who already know that they have lost loved ones and uh, uh, friends. He's also called cautioning people not to go out and he says that everything will be made possible for the rescue services, all the support that they need. We know that uh, fire brigades, for example, are working together with the military um, and that, uh, that there's deployment from other regions towards the affected regions. He's also saying that it will take a massive effort to rebuild infrastructure. He's it seems to be counting on the help of EU countries there because he mentioned that it will take the whole of the EU to actually uh, support these measures. But in the meantime, he describes that Spain today, the whole of Spain, is in tears. And, and what's being said about what turned this flooding into flash flooding, catching people so unaware, Nicole? 
Well, we have a severe weather pattern, pattern here, which means that cold and hot air are sort of, you know, coinciding in the same moment. This is why there's massive torrential rains. They were much stronger than usually. These um, areas around Valencia in the province of Valencia, for example, are used to these flash floodings, usually with less damage, though. And uh, this time it was just much more water and the soil, which is also um, very um, bad soil because there were lots of droughts in the last years, cannot absorb the water. This is why we have flooding and also the rivers cannot take in so much water. The soils there are not really used to it. And then there's the other side. Obviously, people have known these phenomena in the last year. They have known torrential rains, but I think nobody um, really counted on this scale of damage, of this scale also of the death toll at the moment. So this is why the shock and the mourning here are very severe right now. And, and this is uh, climate change is, is on the political agenda uh, there, is it, Nicole? Because, you know, you, people will ask what the country has been doing to increase I its resilience against these weather extremes, which scientists tell us will happen more often. Climate change is very much on the agenda of the Spanish government since this is a country this is he which is heavily affected. I just mentioned it. Droughts. Droughts are very severe here. This also makes flooding more uh, easier, but actually it would take also changing the cities uh, from from the very ground, these cities that cannot absorb water really. And this is a strategy that we haven't really perceived here from the Spanish government. At the moment, it seems that all efforts and costs are um, being invested also in warning systems, which which usually work quite well. They're also uh, there for the rescue efforts. So being quicker, um, really taking care of the people. This is all massive, but as we see, Yesterday and today, rescue um, missions at the moment are hindered because the infrastructure has collapsed, because communication has collapsed. Right. And this is something that uh, obviously you cannot really control. And you cannot control climate change or these weather events. You can only prepare for the worst and hope for the best, really, in these scenarios at the moment, as cities are like they are, made of cement, made of uh, steel. And this type of water cannot be absorbed anywhere here in most of the Spanish cities, at least. Thank you, Nicole. Nicole Rees in Madrid. And I'm joined by Stephen Bergen, a journalist in Barcelona. What turned these floods into flash floods, catching people totally unaware? Um, well, I think this one is particularly excessive, the worst uh, since 1987. We do, we do the east of, of Spain gets these floods every autumn after all the, the after a long hot summer. The, <clears throat> the water has gone up in the air, but this is a particular uh, meteorological event called a gota fria, the cold drop, when cold north winds come over the, the warm air above the Mediterranean and release these deluges. But although this, there was a warning of this, no one expected this, this extent. Four and parts of uh, Valencia had four times their monthly rainfall in the space of a few hours. Tell us more about uh, the pictures we're seeing there of rescue efforts, uh, these rescue crews risking their lives to save others. Well, it, it's um, bridges have been washed away. Uh, many um, rural and mountainous areas remain inaccessible and it's feared that the death toll will rise. Uh, there are already uh, reports of numbers of people missing. Uh, there are lots of people stuck in their cars, uh, on rooftops or even on trees. Uh, just try, trying to stay out of the water and the uh, emergency um, <coughs> authorities obviously have, have their work cut out and it's still raining uh, and this uh, uh, is now moving north but it's still raining in Valencia uh, so it's not over by any means. And we've had warnings now for years about extreme weather. What has Spain been doing to prepare for such events? I'm not sure how much that can be done to prepare for this. We're seeing this all around the world. That uh, I mean, we saw this you know, only a few weeks ago in Central Europe, that these um, weather conditions, these really extreme weather events are becoming very common. And, and you know, obviously, we've built our, our cities and our infrastructures to cope with the sort of weather that we have been expecting for hundreds of years, really. And uh, it's difficult to completely sort of rethink a city 
uh, or, or, or in particularly rural areas, uh, when the, when events as extreme as this uh, come almost out of the blue. I mean, this happened really in the space of a few hours from a relatively normal day to a disaster. Stephen Bergen there with the latest from Barcelona on those floods in Spain.